Hi, my name is Raphael Heath, the Head of Geography at the Royal High School of Bath and this tutorial is about how to create the basic map viewer in ArcGIS Online uh, as opposed to using uh, the direct login to ArcGIS Online uh, to view and manipulate maps. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. If you uh, go into ArcGIS Online using maps, you get this interface here. Uh, I've got a map here which uh, just has a dark background on it. Um, I might change my base. No, I'll leave this one. Okay. Um, uh, change the base map there. Okay. Um, and uh, I've got various bits of information in this map. So I've got tectonic plate boundaries. I've got uh, volcanoes in this map as uh, shown by the uh, power of their eruptions as proportional circles on the volcanic explosivity index. I've got eruption frequency heat maps here uh, for how commonly. Uh, eruptions have occurred from different locations in the world, uh, well volcanoes themselves uh, with their names and details and so on. Uh, so uh, I can combine any of these types of maps, students can use this, log in, uh, zoom in and, and uh, explore the map uh, and its various functionality and features. Um, but you might think that this particular kind of layout here is a little bit uh, uh, complicated for your students to to look at and access. There's lots of different things to click on. Uh, there's lots of sort of things hidden away to try and find the legend here. Uh, they can uh, play around with changing the symbols and get distracted with things you might not want them to uh, be playing around with, and so on. So it might not be the ideal view for your students to be actually accessing this map. Uh, but you can set up the same information to what's called a web app uh, viewer here, which is uh, just a very neat, clear layout. Um, you've got very clear, nice controls here to be able to change things around. So I've got uh, things I can click on, like the legend, the layers here. You can see them changing on this side, um, the base map gallery, and various other things uh, explaining what the map's about and so on. Uh, um, options for printing the map. So, uh, and they can uh, turn layers on and off using uh, the layer functions here. So they've got quite a lot of control of the map. They can zoom in and, and so on, but they uh, have uh, a little bit less clutter and complications to the full um, ArcGIS Online uh, layout here. So you need to have your map and uh, make sure you've got your layers shared as appropriately. If you want it to access without logging in, then make sure the layers are all saved correctly for uh, uh, public access. Um, and uh, you need to have saved you this particular map uh, when you're happy with it. Uh, I've already done that. So then you go to the share button. Uh, make sure that your map is shared as appropriate. So if you want to get your students to easily log into it without... Uh, uh, logging in or signing in or anything, you can share it with everyone. But as I said, you'll need to make sure that all the different layers are also shared with everyone. When you click on that for the first time, it will uh, remind you if some layers aren't and give you the option to, to share them if you have permission to do that. Um, and uh, and then under the bottom here, you can embed it and so on and uh, create a web app. So I'm going to go to that one. And we're just going to look at uh, the basic viewer. There are different types of web apps and I'm doing tutorials on different ones to explain how they work. Uh, but just look at this uh, basic viewer one. So I'm going to just go to create here. Um, and you give it a name. It's already picked up the name uh, from the title of the map. I'm just going to call it Test Viewer App. And uh, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, uh, and uh, you choose the folder you want to save it into uh, if you've got various folders uh, in your account. And keep it shared with everyone uh, if, you, if you want to, unless there's some reason not to, and you say done. So what this is now going to do is uh, it's going to put this all together into uh, a nice little packaged web app that, like I showed you before, uh, which is uh, neater I think and it's layout and simpler for students to be able to use and access in many ways for many tasks unless you want them to have more controls and more functionality. Uh, what it does here first of all is bring up this configuration for the web app. So on this side I can see what the app is going to look like and on this side I can see the app settings themselves. Uh, so I can give it a title at the moment, it's just picking my default title which is fine but uh, just for the purpose of changing it I'll show you you change it in here. Test uh, basic viewer app uh, subtitle and uh, so on, title logo um, and details that you can type in uh, to this section. Uh, colour schemes, the colour theme is coming out as uh, uh, green for the moment, uh, you can perhaps play around with changing any of them. 
photo color. Um, and then you've got a choice of tools that you can include. So this is where you can keep it simple or complicated for students. So you can say, well, I, I do or don't want you to change the base map. So you can choose to click that or unclick that. Just one more or less thing to fill around with. But of course, potentially, it's quite useful to change your base map if uh, you want them to look at different things. Uh, and you've got various things here. You can choose uh, the scale bar. I'm going to include it wasn't there by default for some reason. Um, it says what's the active tool, that means what's going to come up first. So again, think what's going to be logical for students when they first open it. A legend is probably the most useful, but it may be that you want the layer list to come up first so they can see what layers there are and click them on and off. Um, uh, other things you can include, measurement tools uh, and uh, sharing tools and printing and so on. So you can take things away from here. Those are the uh, complete choice of things you've got. So there are other things but you, uh, you can't put on here that you might want. I'll show you in another tutorial other ways you can do more sophisticated uh, uh, web apps. Um, uh, display at a toolbar. Um, I think if you've got layers in the map, if I understand it correctly, that uh, can be edited, so you might have fieldwork data or uh, information you want people to actually sort of put data into and put points into, then you can have an editor toolbar. I haven't actually got any data that's relevant to that in this particular map, but uh, if you did, then that would be useful. And then you can have students kind of enter fieldwork data using this kind of layout as well. Um, by clicking that uh, print settings you can play around with it if you wish uh, and uh, URL. okay that's fine don't need to play with that so uh, not really very much to change there uh, as you can see it's basically set up for me uh, there are a few things to play around with but not very much I've just changed basically the, the color and the title a bit here uh, I could have turned some of these uh, layers on and off so I get a preview of what it's going to look like how it's going to come across you can see I've got all my layers here that I can turn on and off depending on what I want uh, to show um, to make things uh, clear and not and uh, so on but uh, uh, by default it will have whatever your uh, original map has so whenever you change your original map if you were to go back to your original Volcanoes map and change it it would then change uh, however you've saved it back onto this uh, web app so just be aware of that uh, it, it pulls the information from that um, and equally, if you deleted it, it would cause a problem. So um, it's feeding off that. A um, few things I could change here, like the text color, which hasn't worked very well. Uh, but uh, the basic idea um, is fine. Uh, so I'll just finish that for now. You get the idea. It's very straightforward and simple, but uh, to, to create just a few clicks there. Uh, in reality, there's not really very much you need to change. Under here, you can see you've got the options uh, around sharing it if it's not shared or you want to uh, prevent it being shared. Uh, the Configure Act takes you back to the last screen we saw where you can actually change some of the layout and looks of it. Um, uh, and those are the main things you probably need to play around with. So if I open it now to view it as a complete and full application, uh, I can then take this web address and uh, share it or use the share button here. I think it might prov provide a shorter web address. I'll just go under it here, the map link embed uh, code as well here. Um, and this is how the map comes up, looking quite neat and tidy. It's, as I said, saved with the way my, my uh, original map was, with a great background and uh, and these various layers switched on, but of course I could change that. But uh, equally, the students can come in and, and change any of those things now. Uh, look at the keys, look at the legends, uh, and have even some controls over things like measurements uh, on the map as well. Uh, if they need to do any measurements of particular features, like I don't know how far these uh, volcanoes are from the nearest plate boundary, and so on. So uh, there could be a, a role for doing measurements uh, in a map like this. Um, but you can see here, it's a very nice, neat, professional looking layout for your map. Uh, you've got full functionality over zooming in and clicking it. You've got the pop-ups coming up and so on. Again, you've configured them in the original map. So however you've set them in your original map will be the way they come up here. So think about how to make them look uh, neat and tidy and clear when students click on them. Um, and uh, and that's how you create a basic app viewer. So I think this is quite a nice, uh, neat way of being able to get students to be able to explore map data. It's pretty robust. There's not much they can do to sort of change the map or or uh, alter the alter it too much, which sometimes is quite useful if you just want them to understand and view information uh, in quite a neat setting. And you can share this or embed this uh, in your websites or share it with students in various ways. So that's an overview of uh, the basic web map viewer. 
uh, that exists in ArcGIS Online. Uh, there are more sophisticated tools, but that one's a very neat and quick one to create for certain uses uh, with your students. I hope you find that useful. Um, and an alternative to using the main uh, ArcGIS Online kind of uh, interface. Uh, so my name is Raphael Heath, the Head of Geography at the Royal High School Bath, and uh, I hope you found that tutorial uh, of use.